changes the plan and purpose of God. I know, like a day, a day like this, a time like this, would have been much, much greater preparation. But done in this very way, God approved it. Amen. 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 As for again, <laughs> she is the most happy. <laughs> Rejoicing is called as for the baby. Look at it. Someone is going to ask question, why are you doing this? That is the first question we need to ask. And what is the main dedication? And what dedication is <coughs> trusting God giving all back to God for sustenance, for the blessings he has given unto us. And asking him take charge over your own child. Her life, her growth, and it's now in your care. Because God is the one that brought her into this very world. Her destiny is in the hand of God. And the parents, they are just a caretaker. So making sure they bring her up in the right manner. That is why you see today, you see the whole family, the family coming together in one accord spirit to making sure that they are happy and that they ask for the blessings of the Almighty God to be in the life of this very little baby. Amen. Amen. I hope the father, the mother, have you given her her name? What is her name? Maria? Maria Isabel. Maria Isabel. Amen. Amen. I will call her, Brother Nish. And again, I will call her. Brother Brice, may you come forward? It was done in the life of someone. Someone was dedicated to God. And everything pertaining in the life of Samuel, the mother, and you have seen. children and forbidden not 
to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And then he laid his hands on them and departed hands. Meaning, a blessing was given to the children, and especially this afternoon, I want each and every one of us to realize that the life of A very beautiful name. <coughs> she is so happy, you can see her. <laughs> and it's not to be crying, enjoy it all it is. We are going to, before the church, presenting the baby and pray for the baby. For what? <laughs> for life. For peace, for good, and all the providence, the divine Holy Spirit will always be. Amen. Amen. So, Father and the mother to train the child in the way that 
the old, because the old, they won't, the, the child will not depart from the old age. But I will thank you for all that you've done for us, for them. I thank you for the entire family, for the children, the, the two, the boys and the girls. Amen. Lord, our God, we stand before the throne of grace and mercy. I plead your holy name. We thank you for this grace. We thank you for your mercy and we thank you for your love towards us. We thank you for the gift of this baby. Babies are special gifts for you. Lord, we ask you, Father, to keep, keep this baby safe. We are dedicating the baby back to you. As be the parents of Samuel. We ask you, Lord God, to have mercy to take charge of the entire life of the baby. Keep the baby safe in your hand. Your word, your promise is that you will let your angels take charge, that they will not knock anything, any rock with their foot. Holy Spirit, we ask you to hide the baby under your protective hands, protect them, and keep her safe in your mercy and in your grace. We also ask that you keep the parents well protected by the Holy Spirit, guide them, give them wisdom and understanding how to bring this baby up in a way and a manner that will be pleasing unto you. Because that's what you require of us. Lord, we thank you for this special day. We rejoice in you for this special gift that you have given to the parents and not only the parents, to this church. Help us, Lord God, to help them also. The child is not only for the parent, but it is also for us. Lord God, give her the guidance how to bring her up. And Lord, in what they will do, what the baby will do, it will place him unto the living God alone. We thank you again for this gathering here, for this special moment. Let this moment glorify your name. Let the the life of the child glorify your name. Excuse me, ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. Amen. Amen. Holy Father, most You are son and you are daughter. They came and presented the baby back on to you. <coughs> As I goes, it's for your honor, for your glory. Father, bringing this very, very baby before you are church. And they have also answered that to you that they will pray on this very day in the manner, in the fear of you. That is how many of us in the cross and back on to you. I pray the Heavenly Father. Generate the divine wisdom, the divine hands, and a divine hearing ears to 
they get your heavenly father. They bring up very lot unto your hands. In a way, in a manner that pleases you. And therefore, Heavenly Father, you are the God that bless. You are the God that holds destiny. The life of this baby is in your hands. Father, make her to be the light and make her to be the salt of this very God. And make her, Lord, Heavenly Father, to grow healthy and beauty. And all this nation shall know her whereabouts. That the water she brings will nourish in her body, soul, and spirit. That your Holy Spirit will always be in her, around about her. No danger shall know her whereabouts. That she will increase in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and her life will testify of you. My Father Lord in heaven, you are keeper of family, you are keeper of life, you have made a fail yesterday and today, will you fail us? Father, the church results together, Heavenly Father, and we said, Amen. It is a blessing unto your church. It is a blessing into your community. It is a blessing, Heavenly Father, for your mission. My Father, Lord in heaven, we hold our hearts together, our hands together, and we say thank you, Father. Touching the brothers, the sister, Father, you unite the Lord in love. You unite the Heavenly Father to live together in peace. Unite them, Heavenly Father, to talk together and share the bread of life together and let the harmony of yours always fix in the end. The parents will never lack anything needed to bring this very baby up to your own glory. My Father, for you said, I am the Almighty, I change it not. That whatever that is given into my hands will never lack. Father, okay. this baby will never lack wisdom, knowledge, neither material things for your honor, for your glory. No person shall know her whereabouts. Her testimony will always bring glory and honor to your mighty Lord's name. Mm -hmm. My Father, Lord in heaven, thank you, Father, for your divine hands of your righteousness. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for prayer he had heard and also answered. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for you remain the same God yesterday to them forevermore. Father, we give you adoration, and we cannot even thank you enough. And as a church, Heavenly Father, we warmly and gladly in one accord, and we say thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And again, we thanksgive it. Church is anyone who wants me to come forward and agree. <laughs> <laughs>
But let's let's see. Let's see. <laughs>